everyone and welcome back to yet another episode with us and uh, today we have author Rajesh Salva with us and we are going to talk about his new book Guilty of Love Your Honor so Rajesh the cover looks really beautiful so can you tell us a bit about the book what is it about uh, thanks Ananya good to be with you again and uh, yes this is the book as you can see it has a very vibrant attractive cover. In fact, I'm wearing a red shirt to match with the cover. And uh, it's a romantic tale in which uh, the main character, uh, that is the lawyer wearing a black robe or a black coat, really, he falls in love with the fiance of a good friend, of one of his best friends, actually. What is he going to do? How is he going to be honest about his feelings for the girl at the same time be responsible towards his friend? So it's a balancing act. Uh, that's the heart of the story, but there are lots of other themes as well. All right, Rajesh. So can you tell us maybe say five, six things about the books, which makes it special, which is special about the book? Thanks, Ananya. Okay, well, for the first thing, it's a heartfelt romance. So this is deep, passionate love. The guy falls deeply in love, but with a kind of uh, situation which is really difficult. So I think there's a readership which would love to read a book like that. It's a heartfelt romance, but the second thing is it's also a tale of friendship. So there are three friends. And people love to hear stories of friendship. The other thing is that this is based at Hindu College, where I studied. I did my BA honors from Hindu College. In fact, the novel is dedicated to the guys and gals at Hindu College. So uh, I'm sure Hindu College alumni and present day students, they'll find something that will endear them because they are references to college, the physical buildings. The characters are fictional, but the setting is authentic and real. So that should be interesting for Hinduites, for people from Delhi University in general, but even to students from across the country. The fourth thing is there's court drama. So there are lots of dramatic scenes. Uh, jaw dropping, I would not say maybe, but very, very tense and dramatic scenes at the Delhi High Court. That's always a big draw. But maybe I'm talking too much about the good things about the book and I'll leave the readers and viewers to assess that uh, more fully. All right, Rajesh. So does all the action take place in Delhi itself? Yes, I think uh, the readers will get a kind of Dili Darshan. So there are scenes which are set up in popular restaurants in Kanaw Place like Burkos. There are scenes which are there in Bengali market. And there is also very important crucial scenes at Mayur Vihar opposite the Ganga, Ganda Nala. And uh, so I think Delhiites will feel pretty much at home uh, about the settings. So Rajesh, can you tell us a bit more about the central character? We know he's a lawyer, but um, what all is there about him? What all does he like to do? And, you know, uh, other things like that. Uh, thanks, Ananya. Actually, the lawyer's name in this case is Love. So Love is the name of the lawyer. And so he cannot be only about the law, which is very dry. Uh, he's a lover of poetry, music and cinema. So I think, in fact, this might be one of the other great draws about the book because there's a lot of talk about uh, poetry, which is Indian as well as Western. Again, music, which is Indian as well as Western. Most of us in the cities, we are, you know, bicultural. We have an idea of Indian cinema, but also Western cinema. So there are lots of allusions. There are references to Ghalib, but there's also references to uh, Johnny Cash. Uh, to other singers, 
so I think that will uh, help in keeping the younger audience and even the older people uh, more fully engaged with the novel. Okay, Rajesh. Uh, so, is there any central theme about the book which you might like to speak about? Uh, yes, Ananya. I think it would be probably freedom with responsibility. Uh, Hindu college was a great time for me because it was a time of great freedom. You know, I'd come from school. Uh, the university was a great place to be in, but Hindu college was an even greater place. And should I say Hindu college hostel was an even greater place. Uh, it was the freedom, but also as the years passed, we realized that freedom has to go with responsibility. And this is what the three characters also discover uh, in the course of this novel, that don't surrender your freedom. Freedom is very valuable. You should do what you want to do. You should follow the career choice. You should chase the woman you want. But all that has to be done with a sense of responsibility. You can't trample over other people's feelings. So it's a, it's a balancing act. Can you balance? And I think there's a lot to admire about all the three characters all the five characters, the two women as well, uh, a lot to relate to them, but uh, a lot to admire about the central character as well. So looking forward to public response when the book releases on the 15th. Okay, Rajesh. So um, I guess that was really great to know. And I, for one, am looking forward to this book because it is based, you know, in Delhi and I live in Delhi too. So, you know, when you were just telling us about the book, I was really excited to read it. So I hope the response is really positive too. And thank you, Rajesh, for sharing us the, uh, you know, details about the book and for being here with us today. Thanks, Ananya. Lovely to be with you uh, to discuss yet another book. And I hope we'll be meeting soon again uh, to discuss more books and have further conversations on other important themes. Lovely to be with you again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.